okay guys, it's time to stop confusing yourself and causing your own unintentional delays and just get your manifestations. If you want to know what I'm talking about, then stay tuned. and welcome to another rousing episode of Spill the Tea Tuesday. Yeah, it is Spill the Tea Tuesday, not another bonus video. At any rate, my name is Fossey and I'm the funniest, wittiest mindset coach as well as your OG hype you up rampage queen here on YouTube. If you'd like one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, links will be in the description box below as well as links to things like VIP group um, where I say it's lit legit and people are getting their shiznit as well as I'm going to have something exciting coming up soon. I'm waiting for the announcement. Should be any time now, but keep your eye out for something awesome like a workshop. I'm not going to drop any more deets just yet, but you guys will be excited once you find out what it is. Anyhow, before any additional delay, you know what time it is. It is time for Z Calendar. This says, fuck what else? Uh, fuck subtlety. You were born to shine. Yeah, facts. As opera and power of your reality, you're literally sh shining, period. Period, period. And this says, remember, shit doesn't happen overnight. It can. You can certainly manifest what you want as quick as snapping your finger. But this, if it doesn't happen overnight, number one, don't freak out. But this is like the negative Nelly camp right here. This sounds like victim mentality mode to me because, or, you know, people who can't, uh, there's people out there who are spewing stuff that I think they probably couldn't manifest their way out of a paper bag purposely. And that is probably stuff that they tell people. We're not limiting you here. Facts. This says, today's forecast, 100% chance of bullshit. Yeah, the more the victim mentality, you can... We're not having that on this channel, period. Because we are going to own today like a boss ass bitch. What the fuck do I say all the time? I'm a boss ass badass manifestation bitch. And I get my shit whenever I want. And so do you. This says free hugs. Just kidding. Don't fucking touch me with your hood shit 3D BS that we're not going to subscribe to. This, this one really doesn't matter to us, but it just says, does every fucking school have to have graduation right now? I don't think any of the ones where I'm at are, so I don't care. Don't care. Anyway, without further ado, now that we dinked around with the calendar and had some fun with that, we're going to talk about stop confusing yourself and causing your own unintentional delay when you just need to manifest your shiznit. Just get your shit, G-Y-S, be part of the Get Your Shit Crew. And stop messing around with it. So, you know, I hear people saying things all the time. Well, your subconscious knows what you want. No, your subconscious knows what you tell it. And it knows what you tell it by whatever your dominant thought is. So if you're going back and forth on what you want, aka wavering, you are causing your own unintentional delay by confusing your mind. Because you have to remember, how does manifestation work? Manifestation works that you have a dominant thought on a topic, not the dominant thought in your head. So in other words, if you're manifesting money and you are your dominant thought about money is confusing because you're going back and forth on being that your joke is, a, you know, broke is a joke, that you've got two nickels to rub together, that you can't afford anything. And then trying to tell yourself that you that you're a multimillionaire, you're you're not having a dominant thought on that topic. Now, your dominant thought in your head does not necessarily, not bleh, the dominant thought in your head does not need to be money. It's the dominant thought on that topic. It's whatever your dominant thought is on this subject. And if you're going back and forth or you're telling yourself conflicting stories, you're assigning meanings because you're trying to assign a meaning that works for you as to why the 3D maybe is the way it is now or what's going on in the 3D. You've assigned a meaning that I would like to think you would sign a meaning that would be in line with your manifestation that you could, um, you know, re you know, refer back to um, while you're affirming and persisting for what you want. But sometimes you guys are assigning meanings, the ones that don't work. That's a whole nother video of assigning meanings that don't work. But 
you guys are going, you're assigning meetings and then going back and forth on which meeting you're going to do. So when you create a story or you assign a meeting, you need to stick to it because it needs to be your dominant thought on the topic. So one of the better examples I have about this is the third party. So let's say you unintentionally manifested a third party in your 3D reality. And there's many different ways that you could go about that third party. Now, just hear me out. You could decide you and SP never broke up. There never was a third party. And you could choose to revise your breakup with SP. And in your mind, you've always been together, which means what? There never was a third party. So whenever that person pops in your head who would have never have existed because you're doing revision, and if you want to do revision, you can watch my video there on how to revise a breakup. But anyway, if you're doing revision and the third party would have never existed, you're not going to stay focused on the third party. And if you think of that person, you would create a story that would work for you based on what you've decided to do. So in other words, for someone who is revising to a third party never existed because they're revising the breakup and they think of the third party, um, that was a nightmare. I had a nightmare that SP cheated on me. It like never literally happened. I had a weird dream that I vaguely remember of this thing. And that's what popped in my head. I don't know why, because I had that dream forever ago. Um, or it could be like, oh, I don't know why I'm seeing this random person, but that, I think it was a movie or a TV show that I watched. And I just had some weird thoughts about it for a second. Uh, but that never happened in my 3D reality. Or, you know, you could be like, I don't know why I'm thinking of a person I don't know because I've never known of this person. They've never existed. Um, whatever story you pick, whatever meaning you pick is what you stick with. So either they were a nightmare. That was like something that you saw on a TV show that you for a moment thought about it in your life, like you were daydreaming or something. Or it's like you don't even know why you're thinking of a person that never existed in the first place. Um, let's say somebody has a third party, but they decide... Um, to acknowledge the breakup and they don't want to uh, revise that the third party never existed, they're going to go with what they think with their, what their mind might personally buy more, which was, you know, they had a little uh, bump in the road of their relationship. Uh, SP went on a date or two, never did anything with that person, didn't like that person. That person made them realize how much they loved, you know, the person, the manifester, and that's what they stick to. That's what you would stick to. If you assign that story, that meaning that, hey, you know, SP and I had a rough patch. Uh, he went on a couple, he or she went on a couple dates. Didn't, they didn't like that person. They loved me. They knew that, you know, they wanted to be with me. It made them realize how much they loved me. And that was forever ago. That would be the story you would stick with. I don't know why I'm thinking of the person that SP dated for three seconds when, you know, when we had, you know, that rough patch. But now we're stronger than ever. I mean, it was kind of some of the, if you didn't watch the thinking as if video, you should watch that because you have to, of course, remember to think as if you have what you want and what you would be thinking. But the bottom line is when you make up a story that you want to stick to, you need to stick to that story. You can't go flip-flopping back and forth. If, if someone has manifested a third party and they decide to create a story about it, then they can't keep flip-flopping between it was a nightmare and OSP dated that person for two seconds. Because what is your mind going to do? It's going to have trouble buying in to either story if it's constantly being told different shit that is completely opposite, irrelevant, contradicting. You know, you got to remember that when you're affirming and persisting and you're having something create a dominant thought your mind at some point is going to do a buy-in on that. Your mind, your conscious mind is going to decide whether what you're affirming could possibly be true or not. And when it gets to the point that it thinks that that part of your mind, the bouncer, you know, I refer to the bouncer, that the bouncer thinks that what you're affirming or thinking could possibly be true, it goes to your subconscious to manifest. But if you're flip-flopping back and forth between the story that you're telling yourself on the same topic, the same situation, what do you think the bouncer is going to do? He's going to be like, he or she in your head is going to be like, WTF? What are you talking about? Anyway, 
your mind, your, that bouncer is going to like be in the sea of confusion. If you keep tell, changing the story back and forth, you know, your subconscious literally only knows what your dominant thoughts and assumptions are. And that essentially, that information comes from you and it comes from the thoughts that you think. So if you're flip-flopping back and forth and wavering on what you want, if you're flipping back and forth on the story that you're telling yourself or the meanings that you're assigning for yourself, if you keep, you know, clinging to the, the 3D like grandma clings to her sweater, if you keep assigning meanings that don't work for you, which is literally in another entire video topic, which I think I probably have made one on. If I have and I could find it, I'll link it here. If not, I'll have to probably just make another one or whatever at some point. But if you are constantly doing those things, your mind, that bouncer is going to be like, which is it? Which is it? Because I'm not, you know, it's, you, you, you can't, you got to stop. As Sammy says, uh, you got to have, you can't have one foot in, one foot out. You got to have both feet in on what the reality that you want to be in. Both feet in and being persistent and staying focused. You got to be consistent with what you're thinking, with the stories that you're telling yourself. You know, you can't continue to see things in your 3D reality and assign meanings that literally would not work for you, that would literally be against your manifestation, that would not be in line with what you want to think, because it just adds, you know, another sea of confusion in your brain when you're trying to create a dominant thought in line with your manifestation. You can't keep going flip-flopping back and forth between two or three different stories of what it is and what it isn't. Either the third party exists or it doesn't. Either the third party you know, is uh, a significant other of a friend and not an actual 3P or, you know, a coworker or something like that, somebody that we're not going to care about, or that, or they're not. They're a nightmare or they're not. Do you know what I'm saying? They're not a nightmare and, uh, I mean, of course they could be a nightmare and the person that he dated, but I mean, if you're saying that that person is a nightmare, not the third party you're having nightmares about, you want to keep it clear because you have to remember that your dominant thought is what's going to continue to manifest. It is what you're going to experience. And if you keep going back and forth on what it is, you're, you're just causing your own delay because you're bound the bouncer in your head. Who's going to have a buy-in on what you're thinking could possibly be true. If you're going back and forth, it can't do a buy-in can't do buy-in on what it is. What, what is it going to be? Do you want, you want your stuff or not? If you want your stuff, if you want to get your shiznits and get your manifestations, if you go the route of creating any sort of story, then create one that you think that your mind would buy the most, the, whatever one that you want to go with and go with it, run with it and just stay laser focused on what you want while you keep affirming and persisting. We don't have to necessarily put any attention on anything that we don't want, but sometimes we do create a story in regards to what has happened in the 3D in order to keep affirming and persisting and just shut it down. Some people just create some sort of story just to like shut it down and be like, you know, that was forever ago. That was the, you know, the past or that was a nightmare or that was this and that. I don't give a shit about it. I'm going to keep moving forward. I think I talked about, there was a video I made at some point where I talked about, you know, looking at the current 3D as if it was forever ago. It's kind of similar to Neville's like, I remember when, um, because you're more like, you know, why, the thinking is if like, why would I be thinking about X, Y, Z? If I had what I want, it would more like be that was so long ago. I don't care because I have this now. And so you need to, you need to do that too, but stop causing your own delay by creating your own mental confusion by the wavering, the going back and forth, the changing your stories, the not being able to decide what you want. You know, you, you got to get clear in the head that you think in so that you can have a dominant thought so that that thought can, your mind can have a buy-in on that thought so it can go to your subconscious to manifest. It's, your mind is not going to have a buy-in on what you want if you're always all over the place. If you're all over the place, you're going to get all over the place. And that's, that's a lot of times uh, where hot and cold comes from, by the way. And I know I made a video on that somewhere. If I can find it, I'll link it here. But hot and cold behavior kind of sucks. And there isn't anybody who's really down with it uh, because nobody likes the back and forth business of getting what you want. And then that's why it's called hot and cold because when it's hot, it can be hella hot to trot. And then you're getting cold like the cold shoulder, like ice cold, like you just took a cold ass shower. Who, who wants that?
Unless, of course, you live in the desert. I've lived in a desert before, and cold showers can be nice then. But not on the regular. Not when you want, you don't want Chewbacca. You don't want Chewbacca up in your 3D reality, sitting there chilling like a villain. When you want the hot dude or chick from 50 shades of gray. Hella hot, cold it's not. So at any rate, drop your comments, questions, concerns below because you know I try to check them out, especially your video ideas. And, you know, get straight on what you want. Assign stories that work for you. Get clear on what story you're going to assign and stick to it. And stop the flippity flop back and forth so you can just get your shit, yo. Facts. I don't think I have anything else to say. So until next week, I'll talk to you later. Bye.